star on Sunday. Football. Bruce's ashes buried at Palladium. Bid to let star rest at his favourite theatre. Ridiculous. Express. My TV fib secret. And save our shops. Voters back Boris over Burka. Poll warns Tory chiefs not to punish Johnson as row over muslin dress sparks freedom of speech fears. Then pesky polls again. Were you asked? Didn't think so. Telegraph. Back Trump on Iran, US tells Britain. Tory donors and grassroots support Boris over Burkas. Young people spending seven hours a day glued to their mobile phones. Now there was an episode of Star Trek Next Generation where they introduced this game and you put these glasses on and you put this circle into like a funnel type thing and it brainwashed you. That's exactly what these are all about. The fail. Megan Dad, I hung up on Prick Harry. Royal Groom berated him for fake photos before his wedding. He was banned from giving a speech and didn't get invitation. Who gives a shit what a bunch of parasitical scum that have been living off the back of the poor forever have to do about anything? They need to be locked up immediately. People. Abby, thank you. All you saved my life. Now, I'm guessing that this is about the if you were stupid enough not to opt out of having your organs taken. That's what this is backing up. They freed a monster. My rape cop dad fooled parole. He's still a danger. This isn't by accident. This is by design. The, the courts are letting those out that shouldn't be allowed. He got, he got two, I think it was two life sentences, which means he has to do at least 25 years. And he's out in seven. They're deliberately releasing the psycho, psychopaths like themselves, sociopaths like themselves, because they want to cause as much shit as they can before they come down. They know their game's over and they're, they're going to be um, punished for their activities. But they're going to try and make it as destructful as possible. They're trying to destroy the planet with the fracking. Um, they're just sociopaths that need to be in prison. And unlike that piece of shit, for the rest of their natural life. Mirror. Psycho bitch Madonna no doubt also a paedophile because it seems that if you get into power positions of any power and she's particularly well known as an Illuminati member then um, the paedophiles child obesity crisis 17 stone age 10 Kyan faces death if he can't beat addiction cuts mean lad can't give get vital NHS treatment Stop feeding him! Are you stupid? Nah, if ever there was a mother that needs a child taken away from her, it's this one. Unindependent. My fight to bring an Iraqi toddler to UK. We're not got enough. Women of pop in their snarling 60s. Madonna. Strikes and storms cause holiday hell. Young Britons back vote on Brexit deal. One year on, Charlottesville braces itself for the return of the far right, or shall we say another false flag. A heavily heavy police presence in Virginia over fears white nationalists who rioted 12 months ago may come back. 
total bollocks and if it does happen it's by design that have been busted in by Soros as they were as they have been many times on other things they think we're stupid and unfortunately many of us do act like that ministers urged to ditch 20 million voter fraud plan cost of draconian ID check equates to 700,000 per allegation they don't give a shit it's your money not theirs that's why they don't give a shit the observer Brexit shift more than 100 leave seats now back remain oh so you mean just like in Ireland where they voted against the Lisbon Treaty so they bombarded them with six months of um, bullshit propaganda and then they got them to vote again and they still voted to not enter the Lisbon Treaty so they bombarded them with six more months of bullshit propaganda until they fight the, the public in Ireland and finally oh screw this I've had enough let's just vote what they want and that's what they're doing with Brexit. Major poll analysis reveals voter switch. Change is greatest in Labour heartlands. Flying back into a storm, Johnson. Leave voting, Swansea turns against Brexit. All pre-planned, this is exactly what they planned for this was the plan all along. Plea for bells to toll worldwide on war centenary. No, absolutely not. They're just taking the piss out of the dead. And I know that you, some of you think that they're not, they're, they're, they're praising them or whatever. It's not, they're laughing. Behind, the back, behind all our backs, they're laughing because we were all scammed into going and fighting a war for the banks. All wars. A bank of wars. The Times. Boris sparks cabinet war. Four ministers defy number 10. Trump guru fuels row. Cabinet minister one. It's so crack hand handed. A lot of the party agree with Boris. Two. It's been total cock up from start to finish. Three. It's probably not been the best week. Four, there's not a serious political brain in Downing Street. No, because they're all Zionist paedophiles. And now for more absolute fake news. Assad turns his guns on civilians' last refuge. Absolute Zionist propaganda from start to finish. <laughs> 